Welcome to post two of 30 total preseason posts at AUG B-Ball. Post one was about a couple seasoned veterans from the Augusta area. Post two is about the area's most promising transfer, and that is Madison Williams, who will be a senior at Richmond Academy this season. He was most recently at Augusta Christian. Madison makes Richmond Academy an an instant contender in region play and as well as area competition generally. Um, Madison is one of three area players with scholarship offers at this point of the year. Madison is extremely athletic. I saw him this this summer. I didn't get it on film, but I saw him this summer do a Euro step and dunk the ball off one foot, something that I just haven't seen from a guy his size and he's also a very good shooter and just an explosive player. Richmond Academy is well positioned to take advantage of Madison's strengths. They have strong inside play with Nick Roberts, Richard Green and Moses Williams players as well that will that will blend well with Madison's skills. But I will say that last season, when I the one time that I did feature Richmond Academy was after a pair of games against Butler and Josie. And last year they had good inside play and a good guard and senior Moses Lewis, and they weren't able to translate that into success. The team uh, didn't make it into the region tournament, didn't qualify last year after losing in a playoff game. So, so while the team is very capable of having success, they're going to have to prove it on the court this year, as all teams do. It's going to be extra interesting to see them attempt to prove that on the court because Richmond is a team that plays a very tough schedule area-wide. Usually they play Josie, they play Laney, they play Butler. Uh, I think they play Glen Hills on a regular basis. So we will be able to see very early in the season whether or not Richmond is able to translate the talent to wins on the court. And, and I see no reason why they will not be able to. Um, I'm going to put them probably in the top three of my top 10 area preseason poll. And um, I can't wait to see the guys uh, execute on the court this year. So that does it for post number two. Uh, stay tuned. I'm doing 30 posts in 60 days about the teams in our area that, have, that I think have the best ability to compete and the players who will make the biggest difference. In the meantime, I will see you in the gym.